So my name is Simone Ardil. I'm from Italy. I'm an intern in the University of Genova, so in the north of the Italy. And now I'm currently working with Professor Alessandra Gennari in Novara, that is a city close by Milan. Yes, the study was uh, based on what we usually see during our clinical practice that is related to the patient undergoing adjuvant and docking treatment during, uh, for patient premenopausal for luminal early breast cancer. So the patient that usually at moderate high risk of relapse that are administered with generic analog plus tamoxifen or aromatase inhibitor. Usually we saw that during our clinical practice, sometimes the patients we are um, visiting are not adequate suppressed related to the ovarian function, but we don't know which factor could be related to this problem and which uh, impact on the outcome of this patient could be administrating an aromatase inhibitor when the uh, ovarian function is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. So we uh, try to perform an exploratory analysis of two observational and prospective study in order to assess if we can um, somehow predict which patients are more likely not to be suppressed during the administration of generic analog and if uh, this um, suboptimal ovarian suppression could impact the long-term outcome. So related to the um, baseline characteristic of the patient, only the use of aromatase inhibitor is related with a higher risk of suboptimal ovarian suppression. And in our court, we saw that this problem is not related only after the first year of treatment, when we have about 8% of the patient with a suboptimal ovarian suppression. But going throughout the year of treatment, so at five years of treatment, that's usually the standard of care, uh, this uh, percent goes up to 20%. So one out of five patients treated with generational plus aromatase inhibitor is not adequate suppressed for the ovarian function. This could be a problem because we saw that uh, usually the, the ghost, the standard for the patient is to be uh, suppressed and have a lower level of estrogen detected by lab test. In this patient, the uh, estradiol levels are above the limits and uh, this could impact the outcome. Fortunately, in our court, none of the patients with a subobitin viral suppression has relapsed. But we have a short follow-up. We have only about five, four years of follow-up that for those patients probably is not enough to assess uh, the long-term outcome. So we need probably a longer follow-up to see if uh, the administration of those aromatase inhibitor in those patients that are not adequately suppressed could uh, have an impact on the relapse or on the long-term survival mm -hmm. of the patient.